Hello, my name is Tom Sapp, Tom Sapp Photography. We're going to talk about types of photography today. Okay, you've got your four basic types. You've got photojournalist, um, photojournalism. You've got portrait photography. You've got commercial photography and event photography. Now, they all kind of intertwine a little bit. Um, for instance, let me give you an example. Say you're a photojournalist working for a paper and you're going to take a portrait of somebody um, for a, a business portrait, an occupational portrait. Um, it's a portrait, but you're using it for documentary purposes in literature, so it would be photojournalism. Um, that is, I think, a good example of, of you know, photojournalism where it would intertwine with portraiture. Now, they literally, you can, you can subcategorize them any way you want to. It's literally on, uh, in your documentation, say you're sorting your files. I've got some things that I do um, where it's people come to me for model sessions. You know, is that commercial or is that portrait? I put it under portrait. It could be commercial. If it was a paid assignment for a magazine, it could be commercial. They, they kind of intertwine a little bit. But literally, as long as you have a, a point to what you're doing, say landscapes, you go out and shooting landscapes, you can subcategorize it any way you want to. Um, you can do weddings. You can do um, a lot of, of different things. Horse photography is something I got into. Now, it's horse photography. It could be a subcategory of sports. could be a subcategory of, of commercial. Um, it really depends on how you want to do it, how you categorize it. Now, no matter what you do with photography, it is very important to just focus. Keep your attention on what you're doing and continue to do um, the type of photography that you enjoy doing. And everything else is going to come to you as long as you're enjoying what you're doing. This is Tom Sapp, Tom Sapp Photography. Thank you for listening.